It's a dark and rainy day. Perfect for Halloween Horror Nights updates. Let's go this way this time. Over here, there isn't that much of a change except the the lighting truss over is these the lighting trusses are new. Now, besides lighting or whatever they're hanging, but probably lighting. This is all we're really going to see in this area because of the Superstar Parade that happens every day here. Anything in the middle is going to be brought in at night. And then the night of Halloween Horror Nights. And then it's going to be brought back out at the end after the guests leave. So this scare zone is pretty much finished until the night of Horror Nights. Over here in the New York area, this will be the Purge. I have a list of all of the scare zones and where they are on my computer. And I keep saying, yeah, I'm gonna bring them next time. And, and I keep not. Don't remember if I pointed out those lights before, but uh, they just did. Now, there isn't a lot I can see here for this scare zone, but down this way, I'll show you something. All right, update. Just saw this myself for the first time. Over here, there's some things to keep people out of these homes. An attempt to not be murderized during the purge. Don't know how important how these would help. I guess people are thinking, well, the more objects you have to move, the more effort. Kind of like uh, the club doesn't actually stop people from stealing a vehicle, it just slows them down. Down this way, I'll go down there, but uh, there might be water all over my lens by the time I get over there. Here in the, what will be the purge zone, scare zone, might be blocking the microphones. Now you might remember there was a car over here last year for, I already forgot the scare zone. Um, that gets, I think it was a, bu a VW bug that gets uh, brought in by forklift every night. Again, because it can't be in the middle of the street because there's a parade that happens every day, weather permitting, which is a superstar parade. This is why I'm shooting with my GoPro today and not my SLR. My SLR is not waterproof. This one is. All right, so I'm a little behind on this one. Sorry. I've been here recently a few times, but I forgot to come back here to San Francisco. And San Francisco has been invaded. That is, this is going to be the invasion scare zone for Halloween Horror Nights 27. And we now have an additional alien spaceship here on property at Universal Studios. The other ones are, you can't see it from here, but Men in Black, if you've ever watched the movie. This is interesting because this is a uh, disastrous thing that happened here in front of what used to be disaster. Quite an old car over here. Pretty good shape though. Usually the cars in the scare zones are uh, not in very good shape at all. In fact, there's one that um, doesn't really move anymore that was in one of the purge scare zones, or no, sorry, Walking Dead scare zones that was also in the exit for um, Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre last year. I don't know if people noticed that, but... Of course, the military is here. Trying to deal with this, with this invasion. I'm gonna to try to deal with this rain on my, on my lens. Next up is we're going back over to Central Park. Something you don't see very often. I don't see it very often, and I'm here all the time. Back in trick-or-treat, I can't tell if there are any more jack-o'-lanterns. There's so many. 
Um, maybe. Back over to this pumpkin. Now, there is a pretty decent amount of space directly above the pumpkin. Uh, some small flames are possible, but that tree over there is fairly close. I, it would be really cool. I can't tell from here what material that's, that pumpkin is made out of. If it may or may, not, not, may or may not be flammable, there's something inside of it. That's all I can say for sure. Uh, I guess these are supposed to be graves. I don't know. Didn't watch the movie, obviously. Over this way, it looks like it's um, just about the same, except for over here. This is new. I already forgot the character's name, but this was not here before. Don't remember how far along this stage was uh, the previous update. This and this look like they are almost definitely some sort of rear projection. Video projection, shadow projection, astral projection. I don't know. But these lights up here uh, doesn't look as amazing yet. Um, I'm guessing this is for Academy of Villains and not Rock the Universe. But we'll see. I'll, I'll go to the show and, and decide then. But so far, I believe this isn't quite finished because it's pretty bare. Uh, but that's cool. They're still building it. Uh, there are also some trusts back there. So we'll, we'll see what, where this goes when they finish filling in the details, I guess. Those lights are interesting. Looking a little more closely at them, they're not intelligent lights. They're just um, a stage wash, basically. Not sure what that is. Possibly a small confetti cannon because uh, there's a pipe there, but I don't know yet. Still waiting for that to say die in. Now there's not gonna be a whole lot more I can show you in this scare zone because most of the props for this scare zone are brought in every single night just like over at the well between Despicable Me and Shrek 4D where we call production so th this is unfortunately the last update here because again until they bring the props out there's nothing to show you so thanks for watching this short update on Halloween Horror Nights. A little walkthrough. I'll be back again next time there's a significant change. But of course, Halloween Horror Nights itself is starting very, very soon. It's just amazing that we still don't know all the houses. But that should be... I'm sure that they'll have announced something by the time I post this video or very, very, very shortly afterwards. Thanks for watching this whole video all the way through and please exit to the gift shop.